this episode, I want us to create this banner right here. I'll just go to components, then add a new file. Uh, we can call it home banner. So home banner.tsx. I'll set the trace functional component and then home banner. So we can return a div. This div is the parent div for the banner, but we'll have another div for this content right here. So here we'll be having another div. And then inside this div is when we'll having two sections. This one here for text and this one here for the image. So this is the structure of our banner. And all we need to do is to fill everything with content and add the styles. So let's start with the styles for the parent div. Here you just need to say class name. We'll make sure that the banner is positioned relative. The BG will be gradient. So I'll say BG uh, gradient. I'll say to write from sky. This is uh, sky blue color. 500 and then to sky 700 and we'll add margin to the bottom of eight and then i'll add some class names for this second div here so i'll say class name we'll say mx auto so this will position it at the center and we'll have a padding along the x-axis of eight and then we'll have a padding along the y-axis uh, of 12 and we'll display flex uh, for small screens will the flex direction will be column so flex column you can add a gap of two and then for medium screen and above we'll have a flex direction of row and items will be at the center here you can just for content to be evenly so that is this section right here so on small screens the text will be at the top the image at the bottom so that is the column then on medium screen and above then they will be side by side that is when you are changing the flex direction here to row now we have this div right here and this is for this text so first of all we can add the text here we will be having a h1 this will say that this is a summer sale we will be having a paragraph enjoy uh, discounts on selected items also we'll have another paragraph get uh, 50 percent off so that is the content for there and let's save and actually let's now hook this up to our page so that we can see it so i'll come here and we'll come to this page right here so here we didn't have much we just had this eShop. so we can just remove it i will wrap everything with our container component so i'll say container now in this case i can wrap this in a div and i'll say that we are passing our home banner just like that at the parent div right here i'll add a class name and i'll say let's have a padding of eight so that will be for this main content okay and i save now if now we go to our app here and preview we already have this so we will come right here at this div so for this one We'll add margin to the bottom of eight for medium screen and above margin to the bottom will be zero text will be center. So here let's also add a class name and we'll make the text to be four XL and then MD. We will make the text to be uh, six xl and then font will be bold we can change the color text will be white and finally margin to the bottom uh, just four so i'll save there we go now we have this summer sale we go to the paragraph here we have a class name and here text will just be large lg 
and then md text uh, will just be extra large text will be white and finally margin to the bottom will be two for this one so i save and we get the settings for enjoy discounts on selected items now finally get 50 percent off we had a cross name this will be a bit bigger than the previous paragraph so text here will be to uh, excel md text will be 5 excel then the color for this one will be yellow 400 and then font should also be bold so i save and there we go get 50 percent off now finally we need to create the other part here for the image we will set the width for this one to be one over three and then the position for this one will be relative and we'll have an aspect ratio of a video for the image now in here we will use the image component from next uh, js image this will come from next image it should be a self closing tag like that and we need to add some props here so the first one is the src prop if the image is in the public directory right here uh, we will consider this as uh, the root so here we just need to pass the path stroke the name of that image it will be called banner dot image and then dot png so i don't have that image yet we'll be adding it in a few in this public folder so let's continue right here we will say fill and then alt can be banner image we'll have a cross name we'll just include object uh, hyphen contain so i'll save that to the format and here we don't see the image so what we need to do is to add it you can add any image you want but if you want to add the same image as me you can go to this url uh, github.com stroke charles stroke eshop uh, assets so visit this link then you'll get this banner image and you can download it from here so here this is the image that i'm using and you can just click download what i'll do i'll drag and drop it inside the public folder here so if i click on my downloads i can drag and drop it on public so after adding the image at our public folder still it doesn't show we must have messed up maybe the naming yeah here yeah, it should be hyphen so let's save again and after some time it shows now awesome now when i expand this look so we have gotten our basic layout for this home page going we have added this nav the banner the footer uh, which is awesome now we'll start uh, getting to more interesting stuff and uh, from the next section we'll start working with our products so we will release our products 